Yo, what's up you guys? Manchester United player ratings. Here we go. All right, first off, David De Gea. He's been under a lot of fire. I'm going to give him a minus one. All right, next up is a young goalkeeper, Dean Henderson. I think he's the future of United and he's going to get a plus two in my opinion. Next up is the best left back in the Premier League in my opinion, Luke Shaw. He's going to get a plus three because this guy is so good in real life. Next up is Alex Tellers, the former Porto left back who was brought in to replace Luke Shaw. But now he finds himself in a shadow. So it's a weird one. It's going to be a minus one for me. All right, next up is the young left back, Brandon Williams, who has had some pretty bad performances, but he is still young and he's getting older. He's progressing. I think that he will be a great player in the future. Next up is one of the best defenders in the Premier League, Harry Maguire. Unless you're Greek, there is no way you're getting past him in defense. All right, next up is Victor Lindelof. Nothing but a simple plus one upgrade here. All right, next up, Eric Bailly, who has not started all the games he's played a few of them but he's played decently when he has so i'm just gonna keep him the same for now all right next up is axel Tuanzebe, who's been a calm head for ole to rely on i think he definitely deserves a plus three and this guy is maturing very very quickly all right next up aaron wan Bissaka, the english right back even though he doesn't really play for england um, he starred in that 9-0 win at Southampton. He will definitely get a plus one. All right, next up is big Scott McTominay, the Scottish midfielder. It's going to be a plus two in my opinion. All right, Nemanja Matic up next, the Serbian midfielder. It's going to be a minus one for me. He just hasn't been the same. All right, next up is Fred, the Brazilian midfielder. Um, he's had a rocky start to the start of the season, but he's ended it very well. Plus one. All right, next up, Donny van de Bench. Basically, you can't be an 83-rated player and start on the bench every game, so it's got to be a minus two for me. All right, next up, Paul Pogba. I've seen this guy play a lot. His over-the-top through balls, absolutely brilliant. It's going to have to be a plus one for me. All right, next up, Bruno Fernandes. It's going to be a simple plus two. He's been amazing this year. All right, next up, Marcus Rashford, who has not been amazing this season, but... I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and since he has been feeding children, I'm going to keep him the same ready. Alright, next up, Dan James. Similar to Rashford, he's going to have a static rating next to FIFA, in my opinion. Alright, next up, Mason Greenwood, who is on his path to becoming successful, but I think next year is the year that he's really going to pop up, a lot like Phil Foden did this year, so let's see if that happens, but for now, it's going to be a simple plus two for him. Alright, next up is Anthony Martial. Some days, he's prime Henri. Some days, he's prime Benteke. This guy is so inconsistent, so it's got to be a minus one for me. All right, next up, Edinson Cavani. EA only recently just gave him this 84 rating, so I think that it will probably say the same. All right, guys, so that basically wraps up the video. Let me know what you guys think. Big thanks to Dan for helping me out with some of these ratings, because obviously, I don't watch every single United game, so it's nice to have someone who can help me there. Um, thank you all for watching. See you guys in a bit. Like, subscribe, and peace.